A Butler County bus driver receives very special honors for her actions during a car crash. Robert Lowry explains how she saved the lives of two young girls. He is live with their parents' grateful response that you'll see only on two. Mary Wooldridge describes it all happening very quickly before a truck crashed into another car and the bus that she was driving. It was quick thinking that police say saved the lives of her two young passengers. She deserves the recognition that she got. Uh, she deserves all our accolades and praise. So Mary, come on up here. She's the woman who saved the lives of these two young girls, Zayden and Leah. Both are watching as their bus driver is hailed a hero. It was just instinct. It was just... Uh... That's what I had to do, and that's what I did. Mary Wooldridge yelled at the girls to get back before this crash happened nearly two weeks ago in Madison Township. Police say this truck crashed into another vehicle, which then hit the bus. Had it not been for Wooldridge's quick thinking, the scene could have been much worse. I seen a truck coming at the top of the hill, and I knew he wasn't going to be able to stop. So I yelled at the girls to run to the, back to the side of the road. I just thank God everybody was okay and that it turned out the way that it did. Woodridge might not think of herself a hero, but the father of these two little girls sure does. They really do hold a high responsibility in having your kids, you know, taking them to and from school. The Madison Board of Education honoring her with a certificate and their heartfelt gratitude. Joined by parents who put their faith in bus drivers every day to keep their children safe. I've hugged her and told her how much I love her and appreciate her, um, how much we all do. It's not just me, I mean, it's all the parents around me. And of course, a hug from those very lives she saved. I was just trying to do my job and keep my children safe. Now, Woodridge received another award from the Southwest Ohio Pre-Service Program. The driver of the truck that started the crash was cited for failing to maintain assured clear distance. Reporting live, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.